Hi, welcome everybody from Technos to this dedicated focus on the performance of the Sony Xperia V. First of all, I would like to thank Sony for this uh, Xperia V we have for our tests. Well, today we will see some benchmark runnings on the Xperia V. We have uh, Quadrant Advance and Tutu and Speedtestnet, which is, in my opinion, the most interesting one because this device is a LTE device. So let's just start Quadrant Advance. And while the benchmark is running, let just let me remind you just a few technical specs of this device. We have the CPU, which is um, an S4 family CPU. It's a Qualcomm S4 family CPU. Clocked at 1.5 GHz. It's a dual core CPU with a production service of 28 nanometers, so it doesn't have that much power consumption. And we have one gigabyte of RAM. The GPU is the Adreno 225 and we have uh, a display with 4.3 inches and the resolution of uh, 1280 for 720. So the quadrant advance is almost finished so let's see uh, what the score is like. <coughs> Sorry. So the score of this device is uh, 5063 just to give you an idea this device could even score 6000 point on this uh, advance in the previous run so uh, nevertheless even scoring just just let's say 5000 it's even better than one we could have with the HTC One X at least with the stock ROM the first stock ROM so quite a good result considering the hardware of this Xperia V which should be you know not that powerful as the hardware inside the HTC One X. So let's see now the Antutu benchmark. So let's start the test again. Well, here we go, the device score 11,132 points at the Antutu benchmark, so quite a good result indeed, once more. So, let's give a look to the last of this test set, which is the speed, nest, speed test net, sorry. This is really an interesting test to me, because we have here an LTE device. So just to uh, let you see that I'm using the same uh, provider that I have for my sim so it's H3G then let's see what we can achieve with this device so the ping is quite fast we have 37 milliseconds wow we have 86 megabit per second in download speed and we have 29.07 megabit per second in upload speed wow this is uh, you know i'm dreaming of having such a speed on my home connection so let's test once more 40 millisecond 40 ping 80.51 megabit per second in download speed and 29 0.21 in upload speed one more time last last one wow we have 88.65 megabit per second in uh, download speed sorry here we go and 26.38 megabit per second in upload speed these are the fastest you know speed I could achieve on any any mobile device I could ever try so this is really interesting uh, you know so thanks for watching and 
let's see uh, stay tuned for the next focus so bye guys and see you next time